flu vaccines are important. You should get one, it is that time of year. But what if your flu vaccine was created using artificial intelligence? Let me back up with a quick crash course on vaccines. You probably know that there's a new flu vaccine every year. When you get a vaccine, your body begins to produce antibodies to whatever the contents of that vaccine was. In the case of the flu, it generates antibodies to the different types or strains of flu viruses that are in the vaccine that year. This way, when the active virus enters your body, because someone's going to give it to you, you're already ready to beat it. Unfortunately, the flu virus is very adept at mutating, so we need new vaccines every single year to account for the new strains. This makes vaccine development challenging because in order to have a vaccine ready and in the hands of doctors by this fall, scientists need to predict how the flu virus will mutate and which strains will be the most prevalent much earlier. Specifically, they try to predict which four strains will be the most prevalent. Some years they nail their predictions and some years they don't. This year, Dr. Nikolai Petrovsky from Flinders University in South Australia decided to use artificial intelligence to create a better vaccine. Now, this isn't the first time that we've used algorithms to create new drugs. Usually, we attempt to find new drug targets based on existing molecules or develop new molecules based on existing targets. Petrovsky took a different approach in generating his vaccine. He essentially made a generative adaptation adversarial network, or a GAN. We've talked about GANs before, from developing things like art to things like deepfakes. One side of the network, the generative side, acted as a chemist, generating millions of new compounds. The other side of the algorithm, which they called Search Algorithm for Ligands, or SAM, was the discriminator. It was trained to distinguish between compounds that activate our immune systems in certain ways from compounds that don't, based on our existing knowledge of how chemical compounds work. From there, the two networks were combined, generating millions of possible new flu vaccines, and then sifting through the possibilities to figure out which ones would actually work. The drug that they ended up generating, they then tested on human blood cells to see if it actually worked in humans. This drug worked so well that it's now going through a 12-month clinical trial in the U.S. So, does this mean that we're going to be having AI flu vaccines or AI vaccines period in our lives? I think it could. Assuming it passes clinical trial, there's no reason why you couldn't deploy this. It wouldn't necessarily be cheaper, but flu vaccines are already mostly free. Uh, you can usually go down to a nearby drugstore in order to get them at little to no cost. And it would actually involve less labor to generate because you wouldn't have to put as much work in at the beginning when you're doing research to figure out which strains are going to be most prevalent in the next year. Basically, I think this is a great thing. I also like the fact that it still has to go through U.S. clinical trials before it gets deployed because we've seen a lot of AI in medicine that's kind of bypassed that system because there's no real established processes for it. And while AI, I think, can have a really good impact on medicine, we do need to actually make sure that it works and is safe. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see AI flu vaccines? Would you be more comfortable with an AI flu vaccine than the vaccines that we get now? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you so much to all my current patrons for your support. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.